Connor change his view on how to comfort? If your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve their problem. Oh, wow, that's a good question. You know, I read that and I thought, why wouldn't I solve that problem? So I guess that that makes me in the other end, right? I sound more I British in this clip. Because my first thought would be like, what's making them sad? Can we fix that? Instead of just being like, oh, come here. It's okay if you shit your pants. You can just leave it there. You can just leave it. We'll clean what that is up this later. What, am I, what is this analogy, Connor? This is a shit analogy. No empathy. I want to help them by getting rid of their problem. What do you mean? Let's say I have a problem. And you're just like hugging me. I'm like, that's great. I like this. Don't get me wrong. But can we fix my problem? Can you help me out with that? You know, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I, I had that like, I'm that kind of like, I, I had this like awful. I don't know if it's an awful personality trait, but it is like the way just my mind works. Whenever sometimes someone would come to me with a problem, Why is it like out my of sync? gut reaction to, would be like, let's fix it. And then it took me like age to realize some people just need to vent about their day. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they're not yeah. looking for a solution. <laughs> they're not yeah. looking for a, a solution. A lot of people just want to hear, have someone listen. They don't yeah. want. They don't want answers. They don't yeah. want you to suggest how to improve it. They're just <laughs> yeah. like, they're just like, please just let me out. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the time, people just want you to listen and engage with it. So just ask more questions. Not not in a way of like, how can I fix this, but like, hey, yeah. well, why, well, why did this person do this? Or why, 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 mm. why does why does that bother you? Why do why do you feel about this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, just 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 making people know that you're listening and, and hearing them and understanding them is, is just so important. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> Connor changed his view on how to comfort. Well, how long ago was this? I mean, obviously I've matured in that time. You can't, I think if you don't personality test. Uh, this was, this came out in uh, February 2021, so two and a half years ago. I'd like to think I've matured in that time. I think I still laugh at dumb fucking poo poo pa hee hee memes. But I think as a person, I've matured. I think it's definitely, uh, I've become more empathetic as I've grown up. Um, I have less hair now. <laughs> um, you know, I I think uh, I think it's important that you change your mind on things and i think it's I, we said i said this briefly on a trash taste episode that isn't out yet but like i think it's uh i think it's really it's gonna be really interesting because i think in the coming years we're gonna like just absolutely go against stuff we've already said on trash taste uh and stuff that i've said online because i've been online for so long right i'm obviously gonna say stuff that is uh completely different to what i've said in the past but it's so weird having video evidence of someone saying something and then them saying the exact opposite thing. Um, but I guess you just, you if you play them back to back, what you don't see is two and a half years of uh, emotional experience and re being reflective and growing as a human being. And and I think a lot of people just love to be like, I got him, I got him, I, look, he's, uh, he's a liar. He goes against his opinions. Uh, but yeah, everyone just, everyone just changes. I think yeah, I think it's 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 a good thing. I think if I said if I said the exact same things that I said year in year out, it would be there would be no reason to come and watch me at all as a human being. <laughs> you know, uh, I think what is the point of you watching me? Because if, if I'm if I'm going to be no different from two years ago, you know, why just stop watching me? You know, I I, I feel like you'll have you'll have got everything you've you'll have realized everything you could have watched from me. You know, I think you get a lot of, you, you get a lot of, uh, it feels very validating when you watch someone like, uh, like Jacksepticeye, Sean, you watch him grow. You watch him go from the early days of uh, being a daily let's player to being a, 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 an older gentleman who's extremely handsome still. God, I'm jealous of his hairline as well. Uh, who's killing it? And I think it's it's really rewarding watching that journey. Same with like someone like PewDiePie. I think it's 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 important that you have that. Um, it's just, I think it's kind of cool that someone picked out the two things that I said. I think it's cool. I like when people point it out. I think I've 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 one hundred percent become more empathetic. Um, but that's also because like I had to I had to unlearn a lot of things that I I was taught growing up. Um, you know I I think. I keep saying you know. I got to stop saying you know. I got to cut that word out of my vocabulary. When you, when you grow up in a small town, which I hate saying because it sounds so fucking cliche, but 
you you learn a lot of things that you don't realize you've learned and that you think th that way on topics. And so I I th I thought I realized uh I thought that mental health was like a get good kind of thing when I was younger. I was like, "Well, I'm fucking just get good in it." What do you mean you have problems? You know what I mean? And then as you get older, and if you have more experiences and you you have more interactions with people, you're like, "Wow, I'm a fucking idiot." I'm so dumb. Uh, and I think it's important to have those revelations. Um, and so, you know, fuck, I said you know again. I'm not saying you know anymore. No more you knows this stream. No more you knows. I, I like, I like, I like it when you guys post these things. Uh, because I love having these opportunities to just chat about things with you guys. That's why I enjoy the meme review. We get some good laughs. We get some deep talks. I like that.